Imagine there's no heaven It's easy if you try So Imagine really must be one of the most beautiful songs ever written. It was of course originally played on the piano and for this video we're going to teach you the piano part arranged for the guitar. Imagine lends itself very well to reinterpretation so once you learn the song feel free to experiment with it, come up with some of your own ideas for an arrangement. It's a very simple song as many of the greatest songs are. And because it's simple, I think that's probably why it lends itself so well to reinterpretation. I'm going to start out with the verse figure, and then we'll go back and look at the intro. But the first figure, I'm going to play a little bit of it for you. That's the signature piano part that we've now brought over to the guitar. I'm sure you recognize it. Now what I'm playing here, basically John set up what I call an alternating pattern. And by that I simply mean the chords are falling on the downbeats. One, two, three, four. And he's alternating with a chord tone on the ands in the middle. So the basic rhythm pattern, which is played um, you know, mostly by your right hand, is... There's that alternation. I'm plucking the chords with my fingers and using my thumb, usually, to play the um, alternating note, which in this case is the bass note. Now the first measure, it's all a C chord, but to add some interest, what John really does is he starts on a C at 9, then he goes to C, and then in passing he has a very brief C major 7 as he makes his way to F. Uh, and very important when you go to the F, you want to keep your third finger nailed down on this C note throughout the C chord right to the F because you need to have it there. You don't want to lift it at all. So let's try those first two measures of the verse. That's measures 5 and 6. Try them together with me. I'm going to count it out. One, two, three, four. Again. Okay, now the one thing we didn't discuss was that little riff. So it's at the very end of the F chord. We're still holding our F chord, and remember we're holding it in a position. It's the inside notes of the F bar chord. And we've got that C in the bottom, which we never want to let go of. And then I'm going to take my pinky. So it's A. The pinky hammers down. And then the open B string. And then we start again. Take a quick look at the intro. John introduces the song with that exact pattern, one very slight difference. Instead of starting on the downbeat, you know, the very first chord of the song on the add nine, he starts on the regular C chord and then plays through the pattern. But once he gets the pattern going, it never varies. It's always the add nine. So the intro starts like this. Let's play, play with me. I'm going to count it out. I'm going to start on the intro. If you have your tablature, um, please have it in front of you. It's going to help. If you don't have it, go to totalsheetmusic.com. There's a button on the left for video with tab. 
you can click on that, you can find the song Imagine, and you can download the exact matching tab tablature that I'm teaching from. So I'm starting on measure one. Ready? One, two, three, four. So that's the verse figure. Now the next thing we really need to look at is the pre-chorus, which in your tablature is measure 13. First thing I'm going to do is lead into the pre-chorus so you can hear the transition from the verse figure to the pre-chorus. You can hear the pre-chorus and then I'll teach it. So I'm going from measure 11 right now and this is the uh, kind of the, the ending of that basic verse figure. Two, three, four. Obviously that G7 chord right there, that's going to bring us back to the verse. So let's look at what happened here. The transition into the pre-chorus was our basic verse figure with one small change. Instead of doing the lick, which sort of turns us back around to the C, John stays on the F chord and actually crescendos a little bit to lead into the pre-chorus, which definitely builds. pre-chorus is an F chord. We're going to continue our alternating pattern and it's got a descending bass. It's a F, C, but with an E in the bass, D minor. Now, of course on the guitar I didn't have a low D so I had to jump octaves. So D minor, D minor with a C in the bass, okay, to a G chord. I'm going to play this slowly for you. It starts with the F bar chord and the thumb is alternating from the 6th to the 4th strings. C chord. Now D minor and a constant thumb on the low bass note which is going to start to give it more energy. You hear what I mean by more energy by doing that? D minor. D minor over C. C over G. Okay, so play the pre-chorus with me. One, two, three, four. Now let's take a look at the chorus. The chorus actually um, comes after the pre-chorus the second time. You lead into the chorus with that G7 chord. Okay, by the way, uh, if you're not familiar with this form of the G7, it's G, F, G, and D. So the chorus, let me play a little bit of that for you. It sounds like this, two, three, four. figure. So let's go through that together. The chorus is an F bar, G bar, C 
chord. So John has that nice little passing figure that's going to lead us to the E7. It's a C chord, C bass. Follow along in your tab for that figure. To E, E7, to F. And that repeats a couple of times. Let's do that two measure pattern several times together. One, two, three. Four. Again, we're just going to stay on it. Okay, so practice that until you can play it without making a mistake. Now let's look at how that pattern ends. It goes, let's see, that two bar pattern happens once, twice, three times. On the fourth time, it ends a little differently. It ends on a turnaround back to the verse. It ends like this. So it was the same for the F, for the G. Starts again on C. It doesn't go to the E7, it stays on C, and, wh and what we're going to do here is we play a C chord. Now it's important, grab your low C, but use your pinky to do it, so that you have your third finger available to grab that G. Don't let go of the C chord, at least the upper notes of it, because you need them as you're playing that bass line. So here's that measure, I'm just going to cycle through that measure several times. Try to play it with me. One, two, three, four. Again. Again. That's really the entire song. Uh, the very end of the song, uh, when you get to the play along segment of our recording, you'll see is simply. Dreamer, but I'm not the only. 